Hello guys, welcome to another Technical Effects YouTube video. Now in this video, I want to share with you a way that you can stop and minimize the amount of losses that you take in the market. Um, I find that a lot of people in the markets and maybe a lot more on social media are trying to get the pinpoint entries of when the market takes the U-turn. Okay, it happens over and over again. Why I personally believe, not putting anyone down, I personally believe it's because they want to have a great entry to post on social media. The pinpoint, the sniper, the best entry, okay? But when you're running a business long term, you don't need to. Also, you haven't seen how many losses they've taken to get that sniper entry or the best entry, pinpoint entry, U-turn entry, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I just want to highlight to you maybe a way that would help you stop this within your trading, okay? It's all about patience, really. It's about patience and it's about market structure, okay? So I want to run over this with you. So let's get into it. Overall, guys, we all know um, on the higher time frames, the market flows like this, okay? And on the lower time frames, the market flows like this, okay? Bear with me. Okay, so we know that in black, this is how the market flows on the higher time frames. And in orange, we know this is how the market flows on the lower time frames. Okay, a structure within structure. Um, now, what happens is, is when the market takes a retracement, everyone wants to get that pinpoint, as I just covered. Um, but what happens is, is you can see here the retracement forms right here. Okay, but they take one short, stopped out. They take two short, stopped out. Then they take the third position, success. But what they've done is, is they've taken two, whether they whether trading 1%, 2%, 3%, they're either taking a minus 2%, a minus 4%, minus 6%, before they're actually gaining the trade on the third run. Okay, so before they're actually gaining on the third run to then be able to take this trade to the downside. Okay, what does this do? It causes losses, but it also damages your psychological emotions within the market. Okay, because then when the trade actually does get going, it gets you excited. Okay, it gets you excited. It allows people to post it on social media, um, which makes them think that they're, they're obviously the best trader in the industry. Now, the best traders in the industry actually aren't even on social media. That's a very important fact. The best, the best traders in the industry um, of trading ain't, aren't on social media. Um, they are trading for themselves and they don't really need to post it. Um, however, one way to minimize this um, is pretty much, guys, let me just rub out Let's rub out this, this, okay, just like so. Okay, um, one, way, one way to minimize this is by just waiting for the lower time frame structure, okay? So waiting for the market to break out this previous higher low, creates a lower low. So it gives us a lower low in the market. Then what you do is you wait for the market to pull back and form the lower high. This is the area that is then confirmed for the sell, okay? It's confirmed for the sell position. Therefore, you've not taken the one, two losses before taking the correct trade. So just by waiting and being patient for the market to break out, form the lower low, then form the lower high, you've eliminated the losses. You've eliminated the psychological mindset, the psychological damage that you would have caused yourself by taking these positions. Same again here. If you would have maybe have waited, instead of trying to take one, two, this one here may have stopped you out, may not have, maybe the way I've drawn it. But if you would have waited for the lower low, then the pullback for the lower high, then taking the trade, okay, you would have then had the confirmed entry, the confirmed change in direction. 
It's simple as that. You're just waiting for structure to confirm it for you. Okay, so let's just take a look at a buy inversion. Let's take a look at a buy inversion with higher highs, higher lows. Okay, so higher time frames, we know guys, flow like this. And then let's draw on the lower time frames. So the lower time frames. We'll get there. Okay, not the neatest drawing, but I'm just trying to give you guys an understanding here. Um, so as you can see, there may have been one entry, there may have been two entry, three entry, then the fourth entry was the one that took it to the upside. Okay, it was the fourth entry here. So you may have been, you may have been minus, minus 3%, you may have been minus 6% if you use 2% risk. So before this position's even got going, you're down 6%, 3%, depending whether you risk 1% or 2%. Before here, trying to get the one, two, three snipers, the U-turn position, you may have, have lost this percentage before even getting in the move. Okay, so what would you have done? Well, you could have very well waited for the market to form the higher high, then waited for the higher low, then here is where you take your buy. Just buy, being a little bit patient, you minimise the losses. You didn't damage your psychological mindset. Yes, you didn't get the the U-turn. You didn't get the U-turn, but you didn't get the losses. And that's where it's not all about what you post. It's not about your image. It's about your success. It's about your percentage. Okay, it's about your profit. It's about your win rate. Okay, so there's a lot more to it than just being able to, to say, yes, I caught this position right here. Okay, I got the pinpoint. Same again here. Wait for the higher high, wait for the higher low, and then you buy. Okay? So guys, I really hope that this has given you an insight into a way that you can minimize your losses. Wait for the confirmation, go down the time frames, let me know in the comments what you think of this video, and let me know what else may be useful to you.